everybody um, welcome back to my channel um, I just ended a vlog I think like two days ago but I'm starting another one because I want to obviously take you guys through like the egg donation process and everything it is 5:52 right now it is Wednesday the 12th and um, I got up at 5 o'clock this morning had to get ready got some cute shoes on to go to a mon it's called a monitoring appointment it's where they do like an ultrasound and make sure like all the eggs are developing and like everything's just looking good so i have to do that in el paso though and that's an hour and a half away so i had to get up very early to get ready because you got to look professional put together can't be rolling in your pjs to be there at eight o'clock this morning well i'm gonna go here pretty soon uh, just in case there's traffic or anything, probably grab some coffee along the way and then might get breakfast afterwards. So just wanted to bring you guys along with me. So welcome to the vlog and I will see you guys in El Paso. It is now 9.22. I just got done at the, like at a lab here in town to get my blood drawn. I definitely need some coffee and I need some breakfast. I'm so hungry. I couldn't film anything because it's like a lot of like private stuff i'm not gonna bring you guys into my vaginal ultrasound <laughs> the blood drawing is like i don't know like all like the medical offices and stuff i feel like i really can't bring my camera in so i can only tell you guys about like my experience afterwards the ultrasound went really well i have lots of follicles which is great it's like gonna be lots of eggs and then they'll send my blood work over to the office and then they'll let me know about my medication my camera's gonna die so I'll have to check in with you guys later on today or when I have my next appointment, which is on Friday. Hey guys, good morning. It is 5.20 and I really need to go get ready. Um, I have an appointment in El Paso at 8 a.m. and then I have a flight at one o'clock to Houston. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on. I always say that, that's what's going on. Um, I really do have to go get ready. I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that that's what's happening. I'll see you guys later on in El Paso. It is um, 7.56 and I just got to the building, it's over there, that I have my appointment at. I, like this drive was so brutal. I'm really nauseous and I've got a headache. I just don't feel good. The first three days of the injections, maybe even four, like I was so good. The past two days, oh my God. I think it's it's been the past two days that I added the third injection. I feel so sick. I just don't, I just don't feel good. Oh, anyway, my appointments, I'm like, it's right at eight. I just gotta walk to the door and sign in. Get my ultrasound. Oh, I just don't, I feel so shitty and, um, which makes me really nervous because I already get a little bit nauseous when I'm on a plane. And um, especially like the whole like takeoff and everything. And I really hope this goes away before I, my flight later because that'll just be miserable. Just got to the airport. Had to change into something comfortable for travel. See you guys in Houston. I made it to Houston, it's four o'clock, and I'm picking up my rental car. It's through National Rental Cars, and they drop you off, you pick a car in whatever class you read, like reserved it in, and then you just get in the car, like you pick from any of these cars. So I just was like, all right, I'll pick you, like this white Hyundai Elantra. <laughs> because I feel like it's gonna be really good on gas. And we're full, okay. What an interesting thing. Now I need to go find my hotel and relax because I'm not feeling great, you guys. I'm really over the injections. I feel like my like my uterus and my ovaries, like I feel like they're so full and like, I don't know, I'm not feeling great, but I have an ultrasound at 8.30 in the morning. I know I still have medication to take, but I'm like, can we just be done? Do you have enough eggs? Is that like my stomach? I'm just so bloated. I'll show you guys when we get to the hotel, when I get to the hotel. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go take this car, I guess. It's so weird. Guys, I made it to my hotel. It is so nice. It's one of those like home to 
suites or whatever. So it has like the fridge and sink, microwave, stuff for coffee, dishwasher, office area, TV, um, I guess to put your clothes and things and hang up your clothes in a big king size bed. And we got a couch, a little living room area, and then just a nice regular hotel bathroom. So I'm gonna go get some food, come back, do my injections, and then just chill for the rest of the night. Do you see that sign right there? 100% vegan. And my favorite food of all time, could eat it every single day of my life, is Asian food. And I got um, vegan chicken lo mein and steamed dumplings. I'm so excited. So I got it to go, I'm gonna go back to my hotel. It's like less than two miles from the hotel. I will be here all week. Oh yeah, before I eat all my noodles and I'm like actually food bloated, I wanted to show you guys Oh, let me show you these noodles, by the way. This is so good. I'm literally gonna eat there like every day. Okay, so at the doctor today, I weighed 126 pounds, which is normal for me. I'm anywhere between like 123, 127. Stay in that range. But look at my freaking belly. Like just all this bloat down here. I'm still bruised, but I'm just so bloated and like full. So I wanted to show you guys before it's just low mane in the belly. Hello guys, good morning. It is Saturday the 15th and I have an appointment for an ultrasound at um, 8.30. It's like eight o'clock right now so I need to head out soon. I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing really quickly. Some jeans and these cute shiny flats and a little blazer. I didn't know they were open on Saturday. I didn't think I was gonna have like any appointments this weekend. Um, but here I am, up early again. I got up at like seven. I don't know how exciting this vlog is gonna be because I can't like actually bring my camera into my appointments and stuff. I wish that I could, but I'll keep you guys as informed as I can. Um, especially for anybody else who's watched, who came across this video that wants to be an egg donor or has considered it or whatever. I'm gonna try to give you as much information as I can. Um, and like how I'm feeling and like the whole process and everything. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to this appointment and then afterwards go grab some breakfast or coffee or something. So I'll see you guys for that. It is now 9.40. I just left Whole Foods, or I'm leaving right now. The most beautiful Whole Foods I've ever seen, seriously. So I got um, a Cortado. It's either Cortado or Cortada. We'll say cortada since I'm a woman. <laughs> um, and it's just, I'm pretty sure it's just coffee and almond milk or espresso and almond milk, something like that. So I got that and then I got in here two uh, tofu scramble uh, breakfast tacos like black beans and brown rice and guacamole and salsa. I'm so excited. Well guys, my tacos are now in the trash because I ordered tofu scramble tacos, okay? They added egg in both of them. And sometimes it's very hard to tell whether it's egg or if it's tofu. So I took a big bite of the taco and I'm like chewing and I'm like, oh my God, like I'm eating eggs. So they're both in the trash and now I'm just going to have to eat my uh, lo mein leftovers for breakfast. You guys, this is my current state right now. A little coffee, a little lo mein, got my water of course. Literally about to just post up right here and watch Grey's Anatomy. It's now two o'clock and I've literally just been hanging out watching Grey's Anatomy and then I got hungry and I decided to go back to the, I think it's called Pepper Grill, Pepper Veggie Grill. I'm not sure. Anyway, the one that has like 100% vegan Asian food. Oh my God. And they had the buffet. The place was packed, you guys, which makes me so happy. It was more packed than all the other restaurants around it and I was just like rooting for them because it's 100% vegan and veganism is growing so fast and it's so exciting. I'm gonna show you guys what I got now. So I think that's some miso soup. It's like two pieces of vegan sushi, some like sesame balls. This is kind of like um, like vegan like pork or something. Strips, but they're super sweet with sesame seeds, really good. Had some of those in the car on the way here. Okay, so I got a ton of dumplings because I got them yesterday and they were so good. Oh, a piece of my hair, awesome some veggie rolls, some kind of like fried vegetable thing. And then I have no idea, but like some, I think it has like cabbage and some kind of like meat substitute, fried rice. And I think that's it. About to chow down so hard. 
turn Grey's Anatomy back on, eat all this food, and hang out. It is now like seven o'clock. I'm doing my injections for the last time. Well, I'm doing the, like the three ones that I've been doing um, for the past week for the last time. Then tomorrow I have like a trigger shot. And then um, Monday I take antibiotics. Tuesday I go in for the retrieval at 6 30 in the morning but this is the last time I have to do like all three and I'm so happy about that last time then I'm done oh all done hey guys it is Sunday um, and I just got dressed got my new oh look at my new converse they're so cute David got them for me um, and I am I've just been like researching like local vegan stuff <clears throat> and I found a lot of stuff I just nothing's like really stri like striking my interest really the only thing that like sounds so good is pepper tree Asian buffet but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go somewhere else I'm sure there's all these other hidden places in town but I just can't find them which is so frustrating but whatever so I'm gonna go grab something to eat and then um, I think I'm gonna get a pedicure today, do a little bit of shopping, just hang out. And then David gets here tomorrow, so that's exciting. Um, but I'm super, super hungry, so let's go grab some food. It is now like uh, a little past three. Earlier I went and got some food at a Mediterranean buffet. It was so delicious. I just like got my plates and sat outside <laughs> by myself. but I have no problem like eating alone or anything. I think it's more awkward for other people. Like why is that girl all by herself um, eating several plates of buffet food? She must be so depressed. And then after that, I'll show you guys later. I went and got a pedicure, got some bright red nails, and then I just got dressed and ready wearing my new boots that I love so much. And I'm gonna head to the Galleria to do some shopping, mostly some Christmas shopping. I'm actually getting David like one or two like really nice gifts that he's been wanting for a while. Number one, he lost his wedding ring when we were in Vegas. So I think I'm gonna replace that. And number two, he's been wanting like a really like nice watch that he can wear for like special occasions and stuff. Um, or just throw on when like when we go out to dinner and things like that. So I'm gonna look for those two things and then stop by probably Sephora, get some makeup stuff that I need. Just gonna run around and shop, but I felt like dressing up just a little bit. So let me show you guys my outfit. I got these boots when I was with my Mimi and like Jackson at this little boot boutique downtown. The jeans are, I think it's the brand is Universal Threads. They're um, from Target. They're really cute. They fit really well. And then the top is from Target as well and I just kind of tied it up. I was gonna tuck it, but I, I want like a really nice belt when I tuck it and this just seems like kind of more casual yeah so that's the little outfit i don't know what i recorded last um i don't think i did any of shopping stuff the gallery was so packed and um i always feel weird just walking around like by myself recording so wasn't gonna do that i was very successful though with david's gifts i got him a david yearman wedding band and i'm so excited he's gonna love it and then i got him a really nice uh watch from fossil I just picked up pizza, mod pizza. Been sitting here eating it, watching Grey's Anatomy. But the reason I picked up my camera is I'm about to do my last shot. This is called the trigger shot. I don't know exactly what that means. I'm actually gonna Google it in a second when I'm done. I gotta do this at exactly 7.30 and it's 7.29, so let's do this. And then that's it. Shots are done for this round. Ow, 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 ah. Oh. There we go. All right, guys, that's the last shot. Hopefully I don't feel like all sick and stuff after this, but that's it. Get the eggs ready to go. It is now Monday. It's um, like two o'clock. I got up around like nine o'clock this morning while like up and out of bed and I went and got Starbucks and like drove around neighborhoods and like looking at all these cool, nice houses. I love doing that. And then I went to Whole Foods, had to make a, had to get a refund for some tacos that they ruined. Got some lunch, came back, changed clothes, went over to Ulta. Let me show you guys what I got at Ulta. I'm actually wearing some lipstick now. I got this mascara from Drew Barrymore's like new um, cosmetic line, Flower. I'm excited to try that. Because the one that I had, um, I didn't realize 
was actually tested on animals and so that's really annoying so i had to replace it then i got a hair mask here's the lipstick it's like this really pretty nude color i usually go for these colors right here but mine that i've been wearing is more pink this is just more like a more nude less pink oh i'd never gotten anything from morphe morphe before so i got these two morphe brushes one's like a buffer blender brush and this one's a blender brush too but those are like my favorite kinds of brushes. I feel like you can use them for your whole eye. And then last but not least, lip liner. I always get the same color. Yesterday I got a pedicure and my nail polish got all messed up. So I went and got them fixed. Um, David lands at like seven o'clock. So, or like 6.30 or something. So I'm just gonna chill and then go shower and wash my hair and shave and everything. Um, and then go pick him up. Hey guys, look who's here. So glad they it. We're back together. We were only broken up for just a little bit. I think two weeks. We went to dinner after the airport and then we went to Whole Foods and we got not a meal. Ice cream, strawberry, cheesecake. It's all right. I would say like six out of 10. And then when we were at dinner, David put this in my bag when I wasn't looking. And then when I went into my purse to see what it was, he bought me this beautiful watch. Look, oh my God, he did it. It's by the brand Citizen. Um, I have to be up super, super early in the morning. I have to be at the place for my procedure at 6.30 in the morning. So we're gonna head to bed here pretty soon. Um, I'm definitely gonna give David the camera tomorrow and whatever he can film of the process, I'll have him film. Especially like me coming out of, how do you pronounce it? Anesthesia? Anesthesia? I've never been under old Annie before. Old Annie. Um, so I'm a, little, I'm a little nervous. But um, I will pick up my camera in the morning, bring it with me. So, goodbye. Good morning, guys. It's like a little after 6.30. And I'm getting dressed. And I got some paperwork to fill out. And then pretty soon we'll be heading back. I've got them on now. That's <laughs> oh, actually a nice fit. <laughs> and socks are on. Nice. Oh yeah, that's real good. Let me get the full shot here. <laughs> so David's gonna try and film as much as he can. Really, I just want him to film like when I come back in and I'm totally out of it. Cause that's always fun. Anyway, I got some paperwork to fill out. <laughs> Went to the corner. The paperwork to fill out. Come back to your spot. There you go. Wait, get in that corner. There you go. <laughs> Shelby, how you doing? How long have I been in here? Uh, probably about 10, 15 minutes. Zonked. You gotta drink your juice. Shelby, you gotta drink your juice. Need help with the juice? Hi. Drink your juice, pal. It's just so crazy. I was like, right before I went in, I, I like really started panicking. Why? Like silently, but I was like, you guys, I'm so nervous. Like, I'm so nervous. You and said that to my legs. Yeah, I was like, I mean, I didn't expect to feel this way, but I'm nervous. It's just so weird. You have no control over your body. So, like, right before he's like, you're okay, you're doing fine. And then he did the pain medication, and I was like, oh, I'm good now. Uh, like, when I just woke up. How long have I been out since I got back? Uh, like 10, 15 minutes. You're probably out for like 30, 45 minutes. So, like, initially waking up, I just felt like, man, that was a good thing. You want me to show you the footage? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello guys, we are done. We are in the car. It's 
we just ordered um, some food for pickup from Snooze, is it Eatery? Snooze yeah, Eatery? An AM Eatery. An AM Eatery. And um, so we got some avocado toast, some hash browns, and some fruit. And we're gonna go pick that up and then um, go back so we can eat and take some pain medication. I'm experiencing not like intense cramping, but definitely a cramping and like it's going like through the middle of my body, like all the way up to my stomach and it's very painful. Um, yeah, that was cool. It was pretty quick. It was like three hours total. And feeling pretty good, but I am ready for the codeine and a nap. Very tired. So the plan for the day is to just literally pick up food watch movies and lay in bed and not do anything. I hope you guys enjoyed the clip of that David took of me totally out of it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I will check in with you guys later on. It is um, December 19th. <laughs> What's the day? It is uh, Wednesday. Uh... Um, we just le left. We just, we just left the um, fertility clinic. But yesterday was a very long and painful day. It hurts to get up, it hurts to lay down, it hurts to roll over, it hurts to pee. And the pain medication that I was taking was adding to the intense migraines that I was having, which were like so bad they were making me nauseous on top of already being nauseous. And then this morning I threw up. Um, so we went back in, the doctor saw me, we did like an ultrasound and everything looks good. Um, but he like really took the time to explain everything to me, why I was feeling the way that I was feeling. And like, he was just an amazing doctor. He made me feel very well taken care of. So he prescribed me, um, oh, on top of that, I'm so constipated. I'm sure everybody wants to know. Yeah, I bet. Um, but I'm giving you guys a real review of how this oh. donation goes, so. <clears throat> Nausea, headaches, constipation. So I had oh to God. get a stool softener. Never taken a stool softener in my life. Never had this issue. And then I had to get medication for nausea and then a different pain medication. Um, I am looking forward to getting some food and going back to the hotel, taking all the medicines and passing out. Um, also, you can't tell right now, but my stomach is humongous. humongous this is definitely different than what I expected it to be they made it seem like the recovery for like the day after is like no big deal I'm like oh yeah and if you want to go to dinner later on tonight afterwards you can I'm like what? I'm trying to get out of bed I'm like I can't I literally can hardly go to the bathroom every time I have to go pee or last night thank God David's a saint thank God he's here he's been taking very good care of me huh. I'm a saint Every time I have to go pee, I have to wake him up to help me get up and go pee. And then anytime I need food, anytime I need more water, because it's just really painful to get in and out of bed. Um, and all the streets in Houston are super bumpy and like my ovaries are just flopping around. He was telling me that normally your ovaries are the size of a walnut and mine are size of grapefruits right now. So it's like extremely sensitive and extremely uncomfortable. But that's the update. Not doing great so far, but hoping that once I start taking these uh, new medications that I will feel a lot better. So we leave tomorrow. We were supposed to leave Friday, but they changed our flights and may, are making us leave early. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'll check in with y'all later on. Hey guys, it is December 28th now, and um, I am back home finally after being out of town almost the entire month. This is my seventh day, seventh or eighth day being home out of the entire month and I'm just chilling today, taking it easy and then tomorrow it's like unpacking and cleaning and grocery shopping and getting back to it. So um, as I was editing the video, I'm editing it right now, I realized I didn't close out the video so I just wanted to quickly do that and let you guys know that I will be making a separate video talking about like my recovery, how I felt after the retrieval, the emotions and like how your body just, what it goes through um, because I did have a little bit of a hard time and I honestly didn't feel like back to myself until like maybe three days ago. So 
Um, yeah, if you are watching this video and you're planning on donating your eggs, do a lot of research, take care of yourself, get your body like in the healthiest state you can because um, it's it's really hard on you. Um, but again, I will make a separate video about all of that stuff and that will most likely be after like my Christmas vlog or whatever. Um, so that is all. Excuse this mess, I plan on looking like this all day. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and share my videos. And um, I will see you guys in the next one.